Here we are, ready to try our first trigonometric proof. So example one, we are going to verify the identity secant theta minus tangent theta times the secant theta plus tangent theta equals one. First of all, let's talk about some terminology I'm going to be using. So when I write LHS, that refers to the left-hand side of our problem. When I write RHS, that refers to the right-hand side of our problem, and our goal is to make the left-hand side match the right-hand side so they are equal. Um, when we get to the end of the proofs, there's some different ways to indicate that. Uh, some textbooks will use three little dots to say this has been proved. Another thing to use is called um, QED, which is short for three Latin words that literally mean it has been proven. Um, I personally just like to go, hey, I did it. There it is. The check just feels good. Makes me think I got it. Makes me feel good about what I did. Okay, also another thing is this has parentheses around all of our arguments, which are the angles in our trig functions. I don't think they're really necessary in this case because there's nothing besides a theta in each one of them. We will be learning other identities in another chapter where that will be necessary because we will have more than one angle in the argument. Don't worry about it too much right now, but because of that, um, because of that, I'm just going to simplify the writing and just write the um, angles without the parentheses. Okay, so our first step here, we're going to start on the left-hand side because that side is more complicated. So if we read the suggestion, start on the more complicated side, use some algebra, see if it looks like one of our identities that we already know, so we can do a substitution or just say, oh look, it's this identity and we're done. Okay, so left-hand side, we are going to multiply our binomials together. And that's basically just saying no, I have everything turned off and I think it's not going to lag and then I start to write and it still keeps lagging. So multiply the binomials. It's still lagging. Sorry for that interruption. Hopefully I figured out my computer so that it won't be lagging quite so much. Multiply the dip binomials. Uh, we might call that the distributive property. We might call that FOIL, which stands for first, outside, inside, last. just says distribute. Okay, let's do this. So secant theta times secant theta is secant theta squared. We're going to write that as secant with the square there. No parentheses. And then secant times tangent. So that'll be plus secant theta tangent theta and then for inside we have minus tangent theta secant theta which is the same thing as this just in the opposite order I'm actually going to put this here because this is taking up a lot of space so minus tangent theta secant theta I don't know if you care how I write it because it doesn't matter what order they're multiplied in. So if I write that in the same order that this one's in, it might make more sense that those will be um, canceling out when we combine them together. And then our last term would be negative tangent times positive tangent. So that gives us tangent squared and we'll put the square right there. Okay, so then these two will go away when we combine terms. So then we will have secant minus tangent 
we could spend a bunch of time proving that this is the Pythagorean identity sine squared plus cosine squared equals 1. Or we can just go back to what we did earlier and look at this list of Pythagorean identities where we've taken the basic identity and changed it by dividing out one of the trig ratios or changed it by moving things around. So notice we've got this version of the Pythagorean identity right there, and it equals 1. So that's it. It equals 1. That's our right-hand side. And we're done. So if you want to explain what you did here, that would be Pythagorean identity like we've substituted um, 1 in place of secant squared theta minus tangent squared theta because the identity says that they are equal. So Pythagorean identity substitution maybe?